welcome to today's session uh, today we are going to discuss how to display an array in data tables in JSF form so what we are going to do is um, we are going to create a bean in the bean we will have the properties like uh, name model number color quantity and price now I'm going to link my bean with the data table in JSF form. Okay, uh, the data table, the header of the table will be the attributes of bean. Okay, and I'm going to take the content of the array and I'm going to display it in the data table. So as we do the program, I think the concept will become much clearer. So the first step I'm going to do is I'm going to create a bean. The name of my bean will be mobile. The bean will have attributes like name, model number, color, quantity and price. So in the bean, I will be creating an array to hold the value of these uh, uh, table. Okay, so for uh, to holding the value of this uh, table, I'll be creating an array list. Okay, now I'm going to display the array list in the table in JSF form. So that's what we're going to do today. So let's directly go into the uh, code. So I'll create a new project, web application. Let me call the application as data table. So you can see the project is created here. By default, it is having a HTML page. So let me delete it and create a new JSF page. So let me call the page as index page. Now first we will go and create the bean. Right click new. We will create a CDI bean. The name of the bean is mobile. We have to give a package name where we want to create this bean. Let me change the scope of the bean to session and click on finish so here you can see the bean is created the name of the bean is mobile now here I have to declare the attributes so let me declare private string name string model number Then I will declare color quantity the final one is price so finish declaring all the attributes now these attributes are private so you have to add get and set method so insert code getter and setter for all the attributes so finish now uh, we have to assign values right we have to uh, put the value of this table so i will be creating object for mobile class so if you want to create object for mobile class and assign value for these attributes you need a constructor see now here you have a default constructor so you do not have a constructor to assign value for all these attributes so I'll be creating another constructor So let me assign the values. Okay. 
here this is model number color equal to color this dot quantity equal to quantity then this dot price equal to price so finish creating the constructor so now I'm going to create the rows okay so how I'm going to create the rows is will be I will be creating object that's all so private the name of the class is mobile I'll create the first object new mobile okay so let me give the values so first name is the company name Nokia and this is the model number then the color the next is quantity and then the price okay so this is the first row similarly I will create the second row and third row and fourth row okay nothing but I will be creating new object okay As you can see I'll be creating new object done okay so finish creating the object now I'll create an array and put all these objects into a array so private array list Okay, let the list of the array, array list be ARR. Okay, new array list. So I am creating a new array list. Now we have to specify what type of array list it is. So we have to write here the type of array list is mobile. Okay, now click and add the import the class for array list. Now here you can directly add these objects inside the array list M2, M3 and M4. So we cannot add the objects as it is in the array list. You have to uh, convert this as a list and add it to the array list. So I will write arrays dot as list. Okay. so just directly add these objects okay list of objects and then this list is added to the array list now this array list is private again it cannot be accessed in the JSF form so you have to insert the getter and setter method for the array list so right click insert code you have getter and setter I think for the objects we are not going to access the individual objects we want to add getter and setter only for the array list okay so we can generate the getter and setter for the array list so once this is done now we can go to the uh, form JSF form now in the JSF form we have to create the data table so here let me create H form inside the form I'll create data table okay so now what will be the value of your data table the array list okay the array list is inside the bean so you have to write the bean name the bean name dot the name of the array list see the name of the array list is ARR so just select the name of the array list okay 
now the array list is not having one object it is having four objects so you have to uh, uh, it's like a iteration it's like a for loop okay so we will create a variable here and call each row as uh, mobile or i will call each row as m okay and let me create a border for my table border to okay okay now inside my data table so the value of your data table is the array list and array list is having multiple objects it's having m1 m2 m3 and m4 okay so i call each one as m each row as uh, i call each row as m okay now what will be the column of my data set okay so i have to define the column that is the header of my table the columns of my table so i have to write it in column okay so what are the columns you want okay when you want to define the header you have to use a tag f okay face it tag so i have to write face set name equal to header okay because column right name is equal to header and what is header header the first header name is uh, company name okay so i close the face set tag Okay. Now here you have to include the library for F. Okay. So this is your first column. Okay. The first column, the header is company name. Now what value you want to print inside? Just take the array list. Okay. Mobile. This is your name of your uh, bean dot okay bean dot uh, sorry uh, you have to write see each row is referred as m so you have to write m dot m dot what you want to print inside the company name you want to print the name okay similarly you have to create the next column so what will be your next column the next column will be model number sorry next column will be model number now what value you want to print each row is referred as m right so I have to write m dot m dot model number okay then the next column again copy paste the next column will be color okay so here you have to write m dot color okay the next column is quantity okay write m dot quantity again the next column is price m dot price okay so we finished creating all the columns now it's ready to run Okay, now let's run the code and this is the output so here you can see the array is displayed in the data table okay so you can see the these are the column names and this is the array list that we have created that array list is displayed inside the uh, data table okay uh, the very important thing uh, the array list should be declared as static okay so that's it for today's session thank you